One day I was at the library and I was having a very productive day. At some point I had to pay for something online with my credit card. However, there was a little bit of problem. My laptop was connected to the library's Wi-Fi, which by the way was open and unsecured with no password. Any data sent over an unsecured wireless network is actually in plain sight for anyone to grab over the air. That simply means if I go to a website that sends data in clear text, then anyone with a packet analyzer software who can monitor the wireless network can easily capture my information. So it's not a good idea to send confidential and sensitive data over an unsecure network. So what I do in these situations is to use a VPN connection so I can add an extra layer of security. What exactly is this VPN? VPN or Virtual Private Network is a secure connection between two or more devices over the internet. Basically, it uses advanced encryption protocols and secure tunneling techniques to encapsulate the data and create a secure connection to another network over the internet. In my example, my computer at the library will establish a VPN connection to my VPN server at home. So all my traffic will get forwarded to the VPN server. This actually has two major benefits. First, because of the encryption in the VPN tunnel, my data is now more secure. Also, because of this connection to my VPN server, I can now remotely and easily access my network resources at home. So there are different VPN protocols. Many of the modern firewalls and also wireless routers can be set up as a VPN server using one or more of those protocols. This ASUS wireless router for example supports PPTP and also OpenVPN. In order to set up PPTP server, I just need to first enable the server, then set up IP pool for the clients, and finally add username and passwords for the clients. This Linksys wireless router, however, does not support any VPN servers on its original firmware. That's why I installed DDWRT instead, which the same as the ASUS supports PPTP and OpenVPN servers. And here is how I can enable PPTP server on this DDWRT router. So now that my VPN server is enabled on my computer which is a Windows 10 machine, I just need to add a new VPN connection. Here the server name is the public IP address of the VPN server. Then I select PPTP as the VPN type and type in my username and password. Okay, now I'm connected and I feel much more safer. One more point though, PPTP is not the most secure VPN protocol. Next up, I'm gonna configure OpenVPN, which is much more secure. Now let's finish the job. Okay, so... Oh no, no battery, come on, one, one more minute. Oh no. Well, I guess I have to go home now. But look at the bright side. I had a very productive day, right? Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments right down below. Thank you very much and I see you next time.